everyone, it's Ali, and today I am making a video that I'm extremely excited to talk about as it's going to be a pretty massive meta-changing shift to Sentinel. Today we're going to be talking about the Healing Hands skill tree. Now, if you don't know what Healing Hands is, I don't blame you. It's a really bad skill. And this is a skill that's existed for Paladin for years at this point with no passive tree attached to it. This was the only skill in the game that had zero way to support it in any way whatsoever. And it literally was just a AoE heal that had very poor scaling. With the release of 1.0 on February 21st, they are finally adding a skill tree to Smite. And oh my god, there is one specific thing about this that makes me so excited. Sentinel is finally going to get a good mobility skill, and I am so beyond excited that we don't have to use Lunge, which has the issue of it specifically needing to target an enemy, or Shield Charge, which in my opinion, it just feels awful, and it really isn't that good on bossing, for example. We'll get into that in a little bit, but first let's go over all the other changes that are going to come to Healing Hands specifically. So the first thing to mention is that they are going to attempt to turn Healing Hands into a very good utility skill. Now, they are going to give you options on being able to use Healing Hands specifically as a ranged ability or a melee ability or focus further on the supportive aspect of it, but they are trying to do whatever they can to include into other skills. So the first passive I'm really interested in here is Cleric's Hammer. What Cleric's Hammer is going to do is going to give you a 25% chance per point that Healing Hands is going to be casted on melee hit. This is really interesting to me because if there's a bunch of support on the tree, for example, something that might give you armor while you're affected by Healing Hands or crit chance or damage or any sort of useful utility buff that means that you can effectively turn healing hands into a way to just freely buff yourself on melee hits the other interesting thing here is going to be searing light which is going to make it so that the, your healing hands deals damage with 200 percent effectiveness that is a lot of effectiveness that means you could potentially play some sort of hybrid build where you are playing both melee and spell and the other interesting thing that we could do with this if we just want to fully beta sound spells is going to go hand of aurelius with hand of aurelius it's going to make it so that it's going to have a hundred percent chance to also cast it when we smite and i don't know if you can see this in the picture in the top right there's a little void node up there and i'm really curious if that completely converts searing light over to void because if it could and if that means we could potentially have this do void damage that would be a big buff for auto bomber for example as we currently don't really have a good fifth skill we have sigils of hope but for example if we could fit in searing light and if we could fit in healing hands in general assuming it has other good utility which spoiler alerts it will we could potentially just get a large damage increase for auto bomber and have a really interesting skill now Let's look at the thing that I'm very excited about. So first off, we have Sun Shroud, which makes you immune to damage while moving with Healing Hands. And then we have Raya's Chariot. Raya's Chariot is going to turn Healing Hands into a traversal skill that's going to have the same cooldown as Lunge and the same cooldown as Shield Charge. But the important thing here is it's going to allow us to dash to the target location. This means that Sentinel is no longer plagued with the horrible issues that he keeps having of Lunge just feels like garbage on bosses and Shield Charge is really just not viable in any bossing situation or it just doesn't really feel as good and it's not for everyone. Finally, they've given Sentinel a just proper mobility skill like every other build in the game and I'm so excited about it. One thing I want to point out about Chariot is it specifically says this does not infect indirect cast of Healing Hands. So what I am curious about here is... If we could somehow pick up this, as well as pick up the point that makes it so it gets triggered when we smite, and then potentially convert it all into void, meaning that not only is Healing Hands going to turn into a traversal skill, which we replace Lunge with, so we don't have to give up Sigils of Hope, but at the same time, we could potentially be getting even more support and even more utility than Lunge would ever give us. I have high hopes for this, and I really hope it goes somewhere, and if it does, I'll make a whole video dedicated on this for Void Knight Auto Bomber itself. We just need to wait for the patches to come out, and we need to see how everything is going to look, but I'm very, very excited about this, and I cannot wait to see what else we can do with it. And the final thing that they showcase for Healing Hands is a really cool setup where you can potentially play it as a channeling skill with skyfall we are going to be gaining a very large beam while channeling it and with unbroken prayer we are going to be able to channel healing hands which means we can proc it substantially faster if that's something we're interested in and then with skyfall we can create a giant laser beam that's going to kill everything for us which seems really interesting and it could potentially be good although i'm a little bit skeptical as sentinel does
doesn't really have too good of a channeling support. No matter what, I am very excited about the potential of Healing Hands, and I'm excited to see what it has to offer in the patch notes. I'm excited to see what I could do for Auto Bomber, since Auto Bomber is one of the builds I am most excited about overall. I hope that potentially we could use this as a way to get a lot of damage reduction, which the build is really missing. And I'm really hoping that it's going to be able to push Void Knight Auto Bomber from basically being S tier to being S plus, to where the last thing it's currently missing is just to be a tiny little bit tankier. I'm excited about these changes. And I'm curious to see where it goes. If you kitties have any questions or would like to discuss this further, feel free to leave a comment in the description below. I'll be more than happy to talk about it as much as you want. Or if you just want to come by Twitch and discuss this with me there, I'll be more than happy to talk about it as much as you want. Or if you just want to come hang out with all the kitties on Twitch, I'll be happy to have you as a part of our community. And that, kitties, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.